ऑटोनोमी का मतलब ये वो संस्था है जो अपने एग्जाम्स खुद करा सकती है और अपना करिकुलम खुद सेट कर सकती है टुडे अगेन द विजन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज टू क्रिएट एम्प्लॉयर्स नॉट एम्प्लॉय इन दंट्री टीचर और स्टूडेंट्स वॉन्ट टू पब्लिश पेटेंट वी सपोर्ट दैम फाइनेंशियली वी डू रिग्रेस इवेल्युएशन ऑफ फैकल्टी मेंबर वॉट हैपन सडनली वॉट चेंजेस वर ब्रॉट इन दैट द नंबर ऑफ पेटेंट्स वेंट अप टू ट्वेंटी वन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ईयर वी मेक श्योर दैट वी स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन आइडिया ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट वी हेल्प दैम थ्रू फंडिंग हेलो एंड वेलकम टू शिक्षा डॉट कॉम आई एम दीपक सिंह विद यू आज हम आए हैं नोएडा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में एक ऐसा इंस्टीट्यूशन जो अपने प्लेसमेंट की वजह से अपने स्टूडेंट्स की वजह से और अपने कॉलेज की वजह से अपने कॉलेज कैंपस की वजह से अपने इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की वजह से काफी नाम कमा रहा है और एक बज क्रिएट कर रहा है एजुकेशन सेक्टर ऑफ नॉर्दर्न इंडिया में uh, हम बात करेंगे आज इस कॉलेज के एग्जीक्यूटिव वाइस प्रेसिडेंट मिस्टर रमन बत्रा जी से रमन जी आपका बहुत बहुत वेलकम है शिक्षा डॉट कॉम पर थैंक यू आप क्लेम करते हैं दैट एज पर द रैंकिंग्स यू आर नंबर सेवन इन नॉर्दर्न इंडिया नंबर वन इन यूपी एंड इवन ऑब्वियसली नंबर वन इन नोएडा एंड ग्रेटर नोएडा रीजन कैसे मैनेज होता है ये सब ऐसा क्या डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग uh, किया गया इस कॉलेज में कि ये सब कुछ अचीव हो पाया एट आर इंस्टीट्यूट वी बिकेम ऑटोनोमस टू ईयर्स बैक ऑटोनोमी का मतलब ये वो संस्था है जो अपने एग्जाम्स खुद करा सकती है और अपना करिकुलम खुद सेट कर सकती है ये क्यों जरूरी है आज की डेट में टेक्नोलॉजी चेंजेस विद अ ब्लिंक ऑफ एन आई इट इज सो फास्ट चेंजिंग यू कैन नॉट वर्क इन अ रिजिट कैरिकुलम बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी बिकेम ऑटोनोमस एंड अगेन वी वर द फर्स्ट प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट इन द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश टू गेट ऑटोनोमी सो इट हैपन थ्री इयर्स बैक सो इट हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड वेयर वी बिकेम ऑटोनोमस एंड आर फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ ऑटोनोमस विल बी गेटिंग इन टू थर्ड ईयर नाउ सो by 2024 we'll be having the first batch passing out from our college into our when are these things introduced in which year does it happen in the first year itself or way forward so a uh, very great question asked so typically starting from the first year we have very unique concept which have been introduced like design thinking is one of them and we introduce it through a school school of future skills like emotional intelligence critical thinking then you have storytelling you have creative skills you have design thinking skills all these are been there which are being created into a framework and we give this skills starting from the first year which goes to the final year into different semester different skills are been plugged in okay so does this thing as you said the uh, you know the autonomous uh, uh, status given to the college gives you the freedom to create your own curriculum as well and your own syllabus so does this impact the intake as well our students upcoming students who select their college the future college they get impacted by that decision yeah largely we have seen from past 3 years uh, the attraction for autonomous college uh, from nearby areas of students are huge from past 2 years we are doing one of the highest admissions in the state where you find we are at greater noida where more than 70 institution are there and there are few who are fighting for their existence where we are doing one of the highest admissions of the state because student knows today student is very aware because of technology and information technology they have it in hand through internet they go and do proper research that why to join a institute so if you are joining a institute which gives you a flexibility to work on your interest and create future what you want obviously a student will opt for it that's why autonomy is very important our national uh, new education policy also talk about more and more autonomy under autonomy you can do your own curriculum you can do your own course structure in our college our classes are very differently designed it is not standardized classrooms that you have one theory section after two days you go and do a lab we have interactive classrooms with a interactive 75 inch technology board where a teacher can write can share notes can record lectures can show ppts can take out data from any computer a student on working on can work on so today it is very important to use technology as a digital tool in education and take it to a next level and if i speak about the competition competition in the sense the colleges which are probably at par with you on the nirf rankings 
uh, if I speak about those colleges, what do you think stands out most in NIET apart from the autonomous nature? One of the things which is very starkly different is our program towards entrepreneurship. Today, again, the vision of the government is to create employers, not employee in the country. If India needs to be a great country, it's very important that every institute in the country should contribute to the national vision of the Honorable Prime Minister. In our college, from first year, we make sure that we start working on an idea of a student. We help them through funding. Second year, they start working on their product into an interdisciplinary. They can be a student of computer science with mechanical, with electronics working together. Third year, they make a product. We support them again. And fourth year, they should be able to pitch. So it's a very holistic program. Students who want to do their own startup, they choose us. Students who want to go and work in a corporate, again, they learn this process, maybe after five years, 10 years, working into a job, they have a dream to do their own startup. So the foundation blocks are being given at our institute at a very, very different way, very creative way. And we keep evaluating them. It's a regular feedback system which keeps happening and we, sh we call it as a happiness feedback. So we were inspired by the country by name Singapore, where you enter an airport, you go to any washroom, you have a happiness question. Similarly, we introduce any student who is coming from admission to the placement, what kind of happiness I am giving to a student. Right? That's very important. So we want to create a happy, digital, smart campus. That is what we look forward for. When a product is thought and uh, probably, uh, you know, a lot of research is required, how far the, you know, how good a potential of research is in this institution specifically? So from past couple of years, our, our focus shifted toward research. We have different policies to enhance research at our campus. For example, if any teacher writing a paper, we give an incentive of 15,000 rupees as the first author. If a teacher or a student want to publish a patent, we support them financially, take care of all their mentoring, plus their financial component of putting fees across. So in last year itself, we have published 21 patents, where if I talk about four years, we were not able to do even single. So that is an exponential change which has happening. And again, it is very important for the complete ecosystem of education that research should happen. Because once we have just finished our teenage, so we are like 21, 20 years old uh, now. So it's very important that stage of maturity should come into the institution. More and more research should happen. More and more commercialization of product should start happening at the campus. Four years before, there were no, you know, not even a single patient, uh, patent. What happened suddenly, what changes were brought in that the, uh, you know, the number of uh, patents went up to 21. What in, in terms of faculty, in terms of student, in terms of college support, what were the differences uh, which gave you then that kind of result? So under autonomy, uh, one flexibility what we got is we started making our faculty free uh, on their daily routine. They started working more on their research. Point number two, there is a lot of awareness which Government of India is doing towards IPR and research. Apart from that, in our curriculum itself, we said that any student who is coming to NIT in four years should publish at least one research paper. So how to write a research paper, how to do a patent, what all process is there, sensitization of all these process were being undertaken and a lot of workshops have been done. So students started coming up with their ideas more and more. And we created a complete IPR cell, which is dealing with this and helping students to take the research papers to a next level. So we don't want any smaller idea to die at the institute at any point of time. It should come to a next level. You have 3-4 pillars in any college. You have students, faculty, administration, government support. These are pillars of strength and strength are very necessary. One uh, very important pillar, like I said, uh, is faculty and management. Management, obviously, you have great thoughts and great plans, as we are seeing here. But faculty, how do you ensure the faculty is of good quality here? And they also adapt to the you know, future kind of things that you are saying, you know, coming up in the institute, innovations, entrepreneurship, which are design thinking. They also adapt to these things. How do you ensure it? 
So whenever we take a faculty member, we do rigorous evaluation of a faculty member based on their research, based on their qualification, based on the number of years of experience, based on adaption to a digital technology they have. We recruit a faculty member, then we have wonderful scheme to them for them for a better retention and we give them an environment where they can learn, relearn and apply. So for that, for example, we are a Coursera campus. Uh, as you know, technology is getting changes with the blink of eye. New branches like artificial intelligence, data science, IoT, cybersecurity are being introduced in the curriculum. Getting these kind of faculty members trained and certified are very difficult. We tied up with them. We are spending around 3 lakh rupees per faculty member. We give them a login ID. We say that your growth is depending upon how much reskilling you are doing, your upskilling you are doing. So they do different certifications through Coursera, which are industry and university aligned. So in a year, typically minimum mandate is six. Once they do that, they have certain qualification to go and uh, give their knowledge to the student. Similarly for the students, we have deployed Coursera. So it's a credit program what we are doing for our students. Every student does four certifications in a year. That means two from industry, two from foreign universities like uh, you have Harvard, Yale, Oxford, Michigan, so many universities. They learn at the end of four years, a student gets 16 certifications. Now the student is not only industry ready, they are absolutely adaptable to the in area of interest what they wanted. If suppose I am a student, I wanted to do cyber and I need international certification. We have created a platform where a student gets number of certification and get into their own specialized area. So that's how autonomy has given us wing and uh, a wonderful blend of technology and people are being created for a better results.